I love life hacks, but I am not very good at them. I follow a lot of those things like life hacker and I'm, I'm fixated sometimes on the notion that there's a tiny piece of advice, some piece that I've been missing that will vastly improve my ability to do stuff or be good at stuff or interact with the world differently. It's as a person whose interactions with the normal world are sort of like interacting with an invisible puppy. You know, it's, it's not like a black box. You, you, it's not that I can't see into it. It's that I think everybody else can see it and it's sort of wiggling around the whole time. Because puppies are really hard to hold. Unless you have one of those quiet puppies, but those puppies are weird. Anyway, puppies aside, life hacks. I I like them. I like the idea of them. That there is there is this small tidbit, you know, but I'm suspicious of them. I'm suspicious of the things that I can learn from Richard Branson's organizational style. Because I am definitely not Richard Branson. And he and I actually have very little in common. Uh, though I do believe we use the same phone company, but despite that, can, you know, I, and and it's designed in such a way that oh, well, here's a, some things you can learn from this. I'm like, sure. I mean, I'm also I don't know that I'm the kind of person who manages every little bit of their life in the sort of quantified self bit. That's that's is not really me. So I take what I can get, but at the same time, I'm suspicious of life hacks because I don't think you can win. I mean, not be because life is a game, but in the sense that if I create a life hack that's like, use this neat organizational system to get things done better, and you use it and you don't get things done better, I'll be like, no, 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 you were using it wrong. Or, you know, the, the promise that it will change your life seems unwise. You can also suggest some totally ordinary things as life hacks, like exercise. Everyone, I hope, knows that exercise is good for you. It is good for you. That The problem is not that, that you don't know that exercise is good for you. The problem is, like usually like me, you don't want to do it. I mean, maybe you're busy. Maybe you don't care. Um, it is good for you. Maybe you just don't want to do it. Maybe you just don't like it. That seems fine. But the idea that the, the fact of exercise will sort of revolutionize your life is weird. Here's a life hack that everyone knows the answer to. Don't punch yourself in the head ever since i stopped punching myself in the head my productivity has gone way up it's like through the roof all because i stopped concussing myself with constant blows to the skull who knew ancient secrets that people used to know that they forgot and now we remember with the power of the internet it is very appealing I like some life hacks. I think there's some really cool stuff. Uh, John Green has been doing a series on uh, every once in a while on Metal Floss on YouTube, where he tests a bunch of life hacks. And there's some neat stuff in there. It's all the, like the little like put put your cup in your speakers. It's very little organization systemy, but you get a lot of that stuff too. Or game the system to find the best bargain or get the best money. I find that I would spend if I really wanted to do it all, I would spend way more time hacking my life than I did living it. And that is something I am as yet unwilling to do, which is probably why I'm not very organized. Um, but I would love to get organized. If you have a favorite life hack, if you have a favorite organizational tool, if you think life hacks are stupid, if you think they're great, leave a comment and let me know. And uh, I will hopefully take your tiny tidbit of wisdom and it will transform my life. Or I will, you know, like it and reply to it. Anyway, I will see you guys later with video games and music and fun.